Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions YouTube channel. This is episode 18. In this video, we're going to be taking a look inside of an Optimus 10-band equalizer. Catalog number 31-2025. We have 10 bands per channel. There's our mode buttons with sources with all buttons out. Tape monitor 1, tape monitor 2. These are the dubbing buttons. Tape 1 to 2 and tape 2 to 1. This is the IMX expander which broadens the sound. We have a bypass button and an EQ record button. On the back we have our main inputs. Tape 1 in out, tape 2 in out, and then of course power input. Production date appears to be from 92. So let's get the cover off and see what's inside. I do have four of these equalizers as can be seen in episode one. The difference between them is two of them have an LED display and two of them have a vacuum fluorescent display. Other than that, they're pretty much the same, same labeling, same buttons. This particular one has an LED display. And on this display you have green, yellow, and red at the top. So as you can see, it's all single-sided through hole circuitry, all analog. While I'm in here, at some point I'm going to have to take a look at some stuff on account of this switch is acting up a little bit. Now this is interesting. The uh, connections from the transformer are all wire wrapped which has been proven to be a very reliable connection. Production dates on these chips. It's a Gold Star chip. 35th week of 1992. There's two of those chips. And then two Toshiba chips on the 28th week of 1992. even shows 92 on the transformer. Now this little board I was thinking of taking off, there's nothing underneath it. Other than just those four switches, there's absolutely nothing underneath to see. Oh, and we also have the IMX level and display level. Let's take a closer look at the 10 bands on each channel. Now it's plus or minus 12 decibels. And the frequencies are 31 hertz, 62 hertz, 125 hertz, 250 hertz, 500 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, and 16 kilohertz. And it's the same on this side. So it's left and right channel. You can definitely tell it's all analog. Each channel has its own capacitors, resistors, all its jumpers, everything for each channel. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.